Hello everybody and welcome to part 1 of my video sailing course. In this video I will explain the technical terms of sailing to you and everything else on a boat that you need to know to understand your sailing instructor. Everything I explain to you in this video you also find in my book Learn to Sail with Captain Senator. We start with the first chapter, the technical terms. In the book everything is described exactly and step by step. At the end of every chapter there is a multiple choice test. There you can repeat what you have learned before. A link to the book can be found in the video description. To explain the technical terms to you I use a very simple sailboat model. First I will show the boat from above and later again from the side. A small boat for two people is also called dinghy and the boat's body is called hull. The space where the crew sits is called cockpit. In front of the cockpit the deck is located and it is possible to climb on it. The hull has four sides. The front is called bow, which should point to the direction of travel. The rear is called stern. On the right in the direction of travel is starboard and on the left in the direction of travel is port side. An important element of a sailing boat is the mast, because the sails are attached to it. You will see that much better from the side later on. To the mast the boom is attached. It prevents that the mainsail just flutters in the wind. The mast stands on the deck or it is stuck through the deck and it is held by the shrouds to the left and to the right. At the front it is also attached to the forestay. The boat has two sails, the mainsail and the foresail, also called headsail or jib, but you can see that even better from the side later on in this video. The jib is attached to the forestay and at the rear lower corner, which is called clue, two lines are attached. These are the jib sheets. Sheets are lines used to operate the sails and with a jib sheet you can pull the jib from one side to the other side. If you pull the port jib sheet the jib goes over to port side and if you pull the starboard jib sheet the jib goes over to starboard. And the person who operates the jib sheets is called crew or foredeck hand or bowman. As I said the sails are operated by the sheets and that's important because you always have to adjust the sails to the respective wind direction. If the wind blows from further behind you have to open the sails which is called to ease the sails. And the further the wind comes from the front the more you have to pull the sails closer which is called to haul the sails. The main sail is also operated with a sheet which is called main sheet. The main sheet is attached to the boom. From there it runs through a pulley to the cockpit floor. From there the helmsman takes it with a hand that is pointing to the bow. With his other hand he operates the tiller. With the tiller you operate the rudder which is a kind of board that protrudes into the water and with which you steer the boat. You can see the tiller and the rudder much better from the side later on in this video. When the tiller points to the mast then the boat should go straight ahead. If the tiller points to starboard then the boat steers to port side. And if the tiller points to port side then the boat steers to starboard side. If we put the boat on its side, then we recognize the mast, the shrouds, the forestay, the boom, the tiller and the rudder and on top of the mast is the wind vane. It shows the wind direction while sailing. Here we can see the foresail and the mainsail. This is the hull and below the hull is the centerboard. You can lift the centerboard and bigger boats have a keel instead. The keel has ballast and decreases the risk of capsizing. The centerboard prevents the drift. Without the centerboard the boat would be pushed to the side by the wind instead of sailing forward. The red area you see here would normally be underwater and is called lateral plan. In the video The Theory Behind Sailing I explain why the lateral plan is so important for sailing. Now you have already heard about that term at least. Now I've switched on the wind to explain two more terms we have to know. That are the side of the boat facing the wind and the side of the boat facing away from the wind. The side facing the wind is called windward and the side facing away from the wind is called leeward. If possible the helmsman always sits windward. There he has a better position looking forward along the sails. The crew has to watch through under the sails to leeward to look what happens there. 
As I said, the helmsman is sitting windward if possible, but the crew has no fixed sitting position. In moderate winds, the crew sits in the middle and a real boat would now lean to leeward because of the wind pressure in the sails. That is called the boat heels. Most boats are designed that way that they sail fastest when they heel a little bit. And that's why it is the challenge of the crew to use his weight to make sure that the boat is always heeling to leeward and that's called weight trim. So to speak, the weight trim is the little brother of the sail trim, which is the right adjustment of the sails to the wind. Now again from the beginning. The helmsman sits if possible in windward and looks forward along the sails and in moderate winds the crew sits in the middle of the boat. In stronger winds the pressure on the sails increases and the boat heals even more. Most of the wind is now blowing over the sails instead into them and the boat can even tip over which is called capsizing. Therefore the crew now also sits windward in front of the helmsman and stabilizes the boat with his weight. This way a boat can be sailed quite well even in stronger winds. If both would sit windward in weaker winds, the boat would also heel to windward and then the boom would be too heavy for the wind to blow it leewards and it would fall to windward too. Therefore, the crew has to sit leeward in weak winds to heel the boat to leeward with his weight. That way the sails will catch the light breeze again and the boat sails on. On top of the mast top, the so-called mast head, the wind vane or wind indicator is located. This can be a small flag or a kind of arrow pointing into the wind. The flag aligns with the wind and its tip always points in the direction in which the wind blows and when we look at it we can see in which relation the boat is to the wind. Namely when the boat moves forward the relation to the apparent wind. What apparent wind means I explain in my next video about the theory behind sailing. Before I explain the sails, I repeat everything that you can see on a boat from the side. The hull, the lateral plan with the centerboard underwater, the mast, the boom, the tiller, the rudder, the forestay, the shrouds, and at the masthead the wind vane. Then there is the headsail and the mainsail. The headsail is also called jib or foresail and if it's larger and goes beyond the mast it's called genoa jib. The sail has three edges, the luff, the foot and the leech which points to the aft. Aft is the rear of the boat. The same with the jib, luff, foot and leech. The sail has three corners, tack, head and clue. The same with the jib, tack, head and clue. Now let's have a look at the sheets from the side. The jib sheets are attached to the clue of the jib and as shown before you can pull the jib with the sheets from one side to the other side of the boat. The main sheet is attached to the boom then runs down to the cockpit floor through the pulley and from there in the hand of the helmsman that points to the bow. And as said before the helmsman always sits on the side facing the wind called the windward side. The sails are always on the side facing away from the wind of the boat called the leeward side. So if the boat now sails in the opposite direction, the mainsail flips automatically over to the other side, which is then again the leeward side and the helmsman turns to the windward side. The crew releases the windward jib sheet and pulls the jib at the leeward jib sheet also over to leeward, so now both sails are again on the leeward side. That's it for now about the technical terms of sailing in this video. If you want to repeat everything I showed you in this video and also want to know how to write the technical terms, buy my book Learn to Sail with Captain Sailnator. You will find a link to the book in the video description down below. If you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell so that you get a notification when I upload a new video. In the next video I will explain the theory behind sailing. I link the video down below in the video description and at the end of the video. The book is also available in a colored edition and as ebook and book and ebook are great to prepare yourself for a sailing course and you can also repeat during the course what you just have learned. It is written in a practical way and I think your sailing instructor will explain sailing in a very similar way and with the book you will understand him better and faster and then you learn to sail even faster. A link to the book can be found in the video description. I self-published the book and would be glad if you buy it and support me as an independent author. 
Thank you very much.